book four, the Aeons, Lamu, Demon of Jaundice, Venus, Aries, four to three, a reach and pen, literally the long face, ruler over the Aeon of seven angels. Let us begin in the Aeon from positive 4,000 to positive 6,000 year Pythagoras that is still around 2,000 years in our future. Ancient astronomers also observed the celestial events we are observing now and those who remained recorded what happened. All the ancient myths of the world describe a galactic crossing era followed by a flood at the beginning of the age of modern civilization. Now we are seeing the galactic crossing era and so from these ancient records we can study what to expect will follow. The oldest records of these times describe a great war in the heavens between the north and south as both realized the other would attempt to claim its indigenous resources in the event of a global cataclysm. By positive 4,000 year Pythagoras, we can expect massive amounts of resources to have been depleted and alternative courses of action pursued. Thus, in the most ancient legends known to mankind, the records of the pre-diluvial Sumerians, they describe a panic that the world will end due to the abuse of some unique form of technology. This is then followed by natural disasters and massive population redistributions. The records of our order's history describe events dating back hundreds of thousands of years beyond this as well. However, it is from this era in the past that the records first begin to be codified and kept as a written and oral history. So, we know of this era only that they were great historians but that their kind would, eventually, die out to be replaced by us. This aeon dates backward to, to the beginning of the end of the last North Hemisphere Ice Age, when North America and Europe were glaciated. As these glaciers melted, sea levels rose rapidly worldwide. It was only this recently also that glaciers formed over Antarctica, which had been our home at the time for many hundreds of thousands of years. It also dates forward to a time in our own future, and it is beginning from this point that we start counting backward until we reach the same spot at the beginning. And to Blood Gatherer Uranus Taurus 2-5 the tyranny of any pope, ruler of the aeon of twelve Nibiruans. These are the modern times when planets and our galactic hub align, but bear in mind they also align when we were in the position on the opposite side of the circular cycle from where we are now. Instead of a solar eclipse, we will see in positive 2012 year Pythagoras. They simply saw a lunar eclipse, but otherwise the alignment was the same. At that time, it was the peak of the end of the last North Hemisphere Ice Age and the devastation of the climate change at its highest point. Likewise, on the opposite side of the cycle, we find the peak of the South Hemisphere Ice Age's effect on the North being largely countered by an increasing sunspot cycle. Just as, in our opposite position, the lunar tides were drawn by the alignment with the gravity of galactic core, so too now are the sunspots related to our upcoming alignment between the Sun and galactic core. The ancient texts recorded all this as an era of aridness in one hemisphere correspondent to an era of extreme frigidity in the other. Tiamat, Bloody Claws, Gemini, Tiamat, 6 to 1, Lemort, Perfect Pope, 
ruler of the Aeon of seven churches. The era of seven churches marked the period of mourning for the death of the perfect pope, of the order Pythagoras, the order's second founder. During this period, the diaspora of Jesus' immediate family spread out to claim many of the kingdoms of Europe, only to suffer vicious pogroms to exterminate them at the hands of the church invented in Jesus' name. This appearance of an internal schism within the Western establishment of civilization was planned out by Pythagoras many years before the Romans took advantage of the person of Jesus to tell their own Gospels about him. By devoting his life to studying the mathematical patterns of nature, Pythagoras not only gained the respect of his peers and students, he foresaw beyond his own time period and predicted the need to maintain some form of civil order in the event of a global catastrophe. That is why he divided the POD into an exoteric outer shell and an esoteric inner core, and made them appear to compete from the outside while really cooperating in private. Such is the case between the Catholic Church and the descendants of Jesus. King Yu Bloody teeth, moon, cancer, one to six, kings, ruler over the aeon of twelve apostles. Prior to Jesus, there were many failed attempts by ordinary people trying to rise up against the overwhelming social oppression and speak out against the dominant dogmas of the day. These were not false messiahs, any more so than was Jesus himself. All who have tried to change the system from within have been killed for it. Consider that the Buddha in Eastern culture offered a system for transcendence from reincarnation by meditation that was met with high regard, whereas in the Western culture a very similar though greatly oversimplified version salvation through works, was preferred by Jesus, and he was assassinated for it. The reason for this is timing, since the people of that day knew they were counting down to the date of the change of an aeon. The result was a great enthusiasm before the actual significant date, and a great disappointment and frustration following it, when the world, once again, failed to end. However, for 2,000 years leading up to this, there was a vastly diverse population of pre-Christian messiahs. Anne, Scab Stripper, Neptune, Leo, 3 to 4, are each end pin, literally the long face, ruler of the Aeon of 12 tribes. Just as later, in the time of Jesus, there was a great social hope for a sun deity, a solar monotheistic savior. At the end of the prior eon, there had been a seasonal shifting from northern hemisphere summer into autumn, and thus a waning in the previous wrathful solar deity cults marked by Petro bloodletting rites and worship of God, the father of time. The last great father figure was the pharaoh Akhenaten, who embraced solar monotheism and dedicated his children to the worship of the solar sphere as a regenerative force. This aeon began with Moses and the Hebrew Exodus and ended with the birth of Buddha, Pythagoras, and Jesus.